Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. For today, I want to do a fun video where I discuss a few eyeshadow palettes that I wish Natasha Denona would come out with. So if you like Natasha Denona, if you like chit chat videos, then please stick around for today's video. So I'm going to start off with the two most obvious ones I feel like would be the most popular in my opinion. So I'm going to start off with the... Are you ready? Can you already guess what I'm about to say? The gold palette. So she recently brought this beauty back on her website and I was just so excited because there's so many people that still want to get their hands on it. So I don't know if it's still available by the time you're watching this because this video is definitely pre-filmed. Um, but yeah, how awesome would it be for her to come out? By the way, this is all midi, her medium ones, which I'll show you like, you know, the medium size. So not the little minis and not the big daddies, but the medium ones. So that's kind of like the theme for this video or palettes I wish Natasha did not know what to come out with in her midi form. So definitely like, could you imagine neutrals with some tills with all these beautiful special shimmer topper shades? I can already see it. I'm envisioning it and I'm loving it. And why is it not out yet? Could you all imagine how popular it would be? This is such a staple palette. I just like, girl, get it together. Bring them out. Um, next, the Metropolis palette is such an iconic palette. Everyone loves it. Mine's probably out of order. I mix the shades around a little. Um, but yeah, this is what the Metropolis looks like. And everyone's like, this is the best formula from her. If you don't have it, I'm so sorry, but it is a really good formula, I will say, but it's a very warm tone, and a lot of the looks can be very similar, but I love the earthiness to it. Like, uh, could you just imagine a midi size Metropolis? Oh, you got to come out with one. Just let me know if you have this down below, and if it's your most beloved Natasha Denona palette. I feel like I need to do a ranking just on those. So, these are the top two where I'm always, like, waiting on the day where we start seeing sneak peeks. Because, like, I know it's going to come, right? I've been saying that for years, so maybe it's not. But this is just a fun, like, I wish she would come out with these. Next, I want to talk about these star palettes. So, I missed out on the larger star palette. Well, I didn't miss out. I cannot afford that palette. It's so expensive. Um, so yeah, I got the mini size and I love this little versatile palette. It's probably, is this my favorite mini? I don't know. It's on up there. I love it so much. And I can just see already a midi, like the medium size one. I think it would be so fun. Like some neutrals with some fun pops of color. Like I remember, I think it was like the cranberry colors and like with the blues, some neutrals. I think it would be such an awesome palette. And I think that like cranberries with the greens and the blues, it complements everyone's eye color as well. So definitely like, we definitely need a mini star palette. Next, um, obviously the Biba is probably one of her most, I would say, popular palettes. I actually do not own that palette, but... I think she needs to come out with a midi size for sure because we got the cool tone glam palette which obviously it's super super cool grays you know like the very beautiful champagne shades but overall it's pretty cool tone and then we got the bronze palette which is super super warm not my favorite because a lot of the looks can be very similar but it's still like she has her moment i want to see a neutral girl give me something in between these two make a midi biba. I think it would be amazing. So I don't know. I was just thinking about this yesterday and I was like, I just want a neutral palette from her so bad. Uh, next the trio chrome palette. So I feel like so many people love this from afar and, but it's so expensive, man. Like this is a hefty price tag palette. And I feel like either we need a mini or a midi size because so many people would love this color story. Obviously I don't like carbon copies of these palettes. Like I want her to use her beautiful like creativeness and come out with like an awesome color story, but inspired by these palettes, I think a midi trio chrome palette would just kill it. Maybe next spring we'll see that from her because this is such a lovely palette and I just, I can already see, it. I think it would be an amazing midi size palette and also have some, I don't know, I think it would bring a lot of color lovers over to Natasha Denona's world. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, the circle logo palette, definitely way too bold for me, but I think that people would like to see a midi size of, one of that like of that one as well because everyone said that formula was incredible, but it's just definitely not my color story. 
Um, I have a list because the other palettes I don't have on hand anymore. The Tropic palette, maybe next summer, maybe this summer, we'll see a beautiful summer themed midi size, you know? I think that would be super fun with some neutrals, with some like beachy tones. Like, are you kidding me? Can you tell I've been thinking about this a lot? Uh, let's see. Next, I have two left to talk about. I'm going to save the best for last. Safari. Um, that palette, I almost bought so many different times, especially like secondhand, but I just always skipped on it. But the color story was so unique and I feel like it launched before it's time. I feel like if it launched now, people would lose their minds because it's so different and just like the undertones, it looks really, really nice. Um, anyways, obviously you can't get that one anymore, but I would love to see a midi size Safari. I think that the undertones, and she has such a beautiful way of like with the color story of it. And maybe like get rid of some of the lighter tones that won't show up on everyone's skin tone. And give us some banging shimmer shades. That's the one that I've always wanted. Um, and then last, I could go on and on about different color stories. I would love to see from her. But last, y'all know, well maybe you don't. But I love a grungy eyeshadow palette. Give me all the grunginess. Like the murky tones, the mustards, the greens, olives. The beautiful like grungy purples. All of those yummy shades. I need in the midi size. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I can just think of so many I have on hand where I'm just like, if Natasha Denona did this, like, I cannot imagine how beautiful. So, I would love to see a grungy palette from her. Just something fun and fresh and not like retro, uh, meaning like rosy tones, nudes, like my dream palette. It was like safe. I love all those palettes. Don't get me wrong. I just want to see a little bit of fun with a little bit of neutrally colors tied in. So that way like neutral lovers can enjoy it. Colorful lovers can enjoy it. Heck, I don't care if she comes out with all the color. Just give us something a little bit different. So yeah, I'm definitely rooting for Natasha Denona. I love her formula and these, I just thought this was such a fun video. Just a chit chat about some palettes I have on hand and some palettes I wish I had. I just want to see it condensed into a midi palette. Anyways, I would love to hear down below color stories that are in your head that you would love Natasha Denona to come out with. I think it's so, we're all so different and unique and special. So I want to hear your color stories that are in your brain. Let me pick your mind and let me know what colors do you reach for that you want to see in a midi size palette. So definitely let me know, but that's going to do it for today's video. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. I hope that you are healthy, happy, and safe. Stay beautiful. Bye guys.